we'll guide you through how to download and install Fabric for Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So go and quit off Minecraft. Next, go and open up a web browser and go and search for Fabric Minecraft, just like so. And go to the website, which is fabricmc.net. Go to the top and go and click on download. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server hosting company. They've got so many features like 24 seven servers and 24 seven live chat. So you can get assistance anytime you need it. One click mod packs, instant setup, and so much more. And at the moment you can get 25% off. So check out the link in the description and the pinned comment. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. But back to the guide. So on the Fabric website, you need to go and click on either Download for Windows or the Universal Jar. We'll go and click on Download for Windows though, and it'll then start downloading. And while you're here, it does say that most mods will also require you to install the Fabric API. So click here and you'll be taken to CurseForge. It's a popular site where you can get mods from. Go to the right and click on Files. Now there are quite a lot to choose from, so simply keep this open as we'll come back here shortly. But first of all, we now need to go and install Fabric. So find the installer in your downloads folder. Here it is, and what I'm gonna do is just drag it onto my desktop. And then all you need to do is go and double click on it. Make sure client is selected and you can then choose the Minecraft version you wish to get it for. So ultimately this will depend upon the mods you want. In this case though, I'm just gonna go and get 1.20.1, .1, but you can get any version you want. Um, the loader version, I just keep that the most recent. Uh, and then I have create profile selected and click install. And just like that, it's already done. So it doesn't take too long at all. And you can then go and close off it. Next, you want to go back to your web browser and you now want to go and find a mod you wish to go and get. So what I like to do is go and open up another tab and come back to CurseForge. So here we are in CurseForge in the Minecraft section, and then we can go and find a mod which you wish to go and get. So what I'm gonna do is go and find one. I want to go and get this organizable mod, so I'm gonna go and click on it, but there are so many to choose from. Then click on files and then make sure that it is available for fabric. And then what you wanna do is make sure you get the right game version as well. So in this case, I want 1.20.1. So I'll come over to the right and click on the three dots and then click on download file and it should shortly start downloading. And what we did earlier as well was we went and went to the Fabric API page on CurseForge. And so now what we need to do is go and get the 1.20.1 version for the API. So here it is here, we can see the game version in the middle here. And then you wanna go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file and it, that will then go and start downloading. After you've downloaded the mod and the API, open your file explorer and go to your downloads and let's just go and drag them onto our desktop like so. Then what you want to do is come to the bottom of your computer, go and click on the search and type in run like this and click on it. And what you want to do is type in here percentage app data percentage again and press OK or enter. You'll then be taken it to your app data, click on dot Minecraft and you then need to go to the mods folder. Double click on it and then what you need to do is put the API and the other mod or mods you downloaded into it and that's it. Now we can go and launch Minecraft. Once you're in the launcher, make sure you go and select Fabric Loader as well and then click on play. Here we are in Minecraft and now when I go and click on single player, you're going to go and notice the mod. Now of course each mod's different, but the mod I got was like an organization mod. So what I can do is go and click on this plus. I can go and create folders, which is super useful. And I could then go into this folder and create a world within it. It's that simple. But as I said, every mod is different. And now when I go into the folder, you can now go and see that world there. So yeah, super useful mod. But as I said, most mods are going to be more gameplay experience, but it will vary. I hope you guys found this video useful and you've managed to go and install Fabric and any mods you wanted to as well. If you found it useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And of course, if you need yourself a Minecraft server, go and check out Apex Hosting. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video.